Hi everybody, what's going on? Um, today is Monday, President's Day, and today I'm on my way to the surgeon again uh, to check to see uh, how everything is going with my, my finger and stuff. It's been two weeks already, and um, again, I don't remember what day it is, and I'll put the day in here when I start to edit the video. Um, so far, I've been going to physical therapy, and I've been trying different things that they've been asking me to do. Uh, they bent my finger a couple of times. Uh, don't know at this point how it's going to be, if it's going to react to um, its bending and healing and whatnot. The other thing is I'm having a problem is with, I have the diabetic ulcer I had on my foot. I went the other day to wound care. Um, suggested by my podiatrist and unfortunately I didn't know what was going on under the under there because basically I should have used a mirror and they showed me it was bad it was the most horrible thing I ever seen I didn't even think it was that worse that than what it was so um, I'm wearing um, this shoe with velcro that they gave me it's like blue and then I have to get measured for a boot uh, this week at the podiatrist uh, surgeon um, and then I have to go back to wound care and they have to check to see how, and how I'm doing. I'm going to take care of it and I'm just praying to God that you know I just get healed and you know I lost 10 pounds on the keto diet now and I'm very happy about that. Um, they weighed me and I was 262 and yeah I'm not 272. I don't understand how, how heavy I am. My body's proportionate, so I, I think, you know, it's just, that's how it, you know, is. Hey guys, well, he just came out of the appointment, and uh, doctor says uh, he checked my finger. Uh, he asked me to bend it as he held it back. He says it's looking pretty good, so I'm not wearing the cast anymore. Thank God. I hate to like really rush thing he says put some lotion on it I've and I said to myself I said I have never seen my hand ever dry like this in my life at all um, he says I can wash it now um, but I can't go like this with it I can't clutch my fist he says I can go and hold my fingers down as um, as an exercise all of them down and then we'll just go from there and keep doing physical therapy. He wrote me another script. I guess more advanced stuff to do. He said within two to, to the two weeks, we don't want to push uh, anything because that can cause rupture. When you get to four weeks, you healed a little more. And then you could start, you know, little by little doing the things in order to get it back to what it is. So I have, a three, I have an appointment in three weeks, two to three weeks. To see him to see how I'm progressing as well I'm really happy I feel good but again I can't make sure I can't you know clutch uh, clutch my hand like this or he even said not to get it caught on anything so I have to be careful I'm not gonna pick up stuff really like I was and um, that's it I know it looks really bad that's the all the uh, the healing from the uh, What's that called? All the scabs from the stitches and stuff like that. It's going to take a while to heal. And me being diabetic doesn't help that, just like my foot. That I'm a little nervous and scared about. Because um, a lot of times it doesn't heal properly. And, uh, you know, you have to worry about those things. Okay. Well, um, as you remember, I took this off and stuff like that. You know, they took off the splint. So I'm doing, I went to therapy yesterday and they started working on, you know, uh, the uh, tendon here. It looks like it's, like it almost did when I, when, I, when I cut the tendon. But that's because there's a lot of scar tissue and it has to be worked out. Now, I mean, I can bend my finger. I'm going to show. Um, I have to do exercises. Some are bringing this down. I have to hold it a bit. Uh, some is hold it here and lift up 10 times, but I got to use my other hand. And then rest. And then, of course, doing this down to here and, you know, this going like that, to, you know, to bring it. So um, 
my hands are very dry. I've been putting lotion on. My dad gave me this lotion, which I think you know, I think he got it from the hospital when he was in the hospital. But I squeezed it out of tubes. Like it was like I was putting thick glue on my hands. It was so thick. I'm like, what did you give me? Friggin' the gorilla glue? You know, my father's always trying to, you know, trying to help me out, but he don't realize some of the stuff, the product is old and it doesn't, you know, it's not good. So he's giving me this stuff and it's like, like you're giving me like gorilla glue. I said, I'm surprised I'm, I'm not, st my hands are not st stuck to each other, you know? So, you know, I mean, he tries, um, but you know, like I said, it looks, you know, where it's supposed to be, I guess. And even uh, the surgeon actually checked the weight, you know, my finger too, and he made me move it, you know. And he said, it's starting to look, it's looking all good, you know, it's starting to look the way it's supposed to. But, of course, you know, I'm always saying, oh, I hope I don't rupture it and stuff like that. Oh, it's not healing or it's taking too long. It takes a long time for healing. It takes a lot. It takes a long time. Uh, also, because I'm a diabetic, so that's going to... Uh, that's going to prohibit healing for, you know, make it extended. Uh, again, I'm going to have to massage out the, uh, the uh, scar tissue. And like I said, there's a lot of scar tissue here, some scar tissue here, some there, and on the bottom right there with that stitches. So uh, now my therapist didn't suggest that, but I seen on another video, um, I think his name is Eric Navarez, Eric talked about how his therapist massage told him to massage the area with a lot of scar tissue because what happens is when the tendon heals it kind of gets stuck to the muscle to the scar tissue and then you need surgery again like I mentioned a while ago that is one of the things that needs to be uh, done or the rupture if it ruptures which you know that's so those are two issues that have to uh, requ that require surgery in order to fix the problem so massaging it well uh, will basically get rid of that scar tissue and the tendons won't stick so as for my foot um, I actually changed the bandage to dressing today now I mean today it looked good I was shocked because considering the fact what it looked like when it was when it was just had an open hole like that, I was, like I said, I was just beside myself. I was like, oh my God. That's how exactly my response when they showed me how big it was. I couldn't believe it. I said to myself, I didn't realize that was happening. Had I used a mirror, I would have been like, oh, I better get there sooner. But because I had the surgery on my hand, I kind of prohibited it because I had no way of going and I couldn't really drive and try to make uh, an appointment. And it was kind of tough for me to actually uh, bandage it up and whatnot. Uh, my podiatrist said to soak it. I was told not to. And I said to them, I said to the wound care, I said, you know something? I was thinking about that. I was thinking about bacteria. And the nurse said, exactly. You're exactly right. The bacteria that can come from the uh, the the fount, the, even the spout, and also whatever is in the basin if it's not washed properly. So, especially how bad a wound is like this on the foot, it could um, be a recipe for disaster. So, that's something that they told me not to do.